Hi, hello everybody. This is your Srinivas. Welcome to Srinivasa Academy. Please like, share and subscribe my YouTube channel. And comment section low comment chandi. Income ekosam. Abbutam in a shortcut such as a vidanga. Encourage chandi. Encourage chandi and kosam like chandi. My friends of Buddha share chandi. Okay. Then already meko. Intak munde promise chase na tika. Prati rozu. Wakabutamina shortcut to me mundu kostan and chaparanjagindi. Erozu koda. Super shortcut to discuss chebotanamo. Ade to choose at the ma. Yes. So we know very well that in matrices, system of linear equations, there are two types of system of linear equations non homogeneous system and a homogeneous system. My dear students, you know very well that non homogeneous system, number of solutions. Nature of the system almost all uh, seven marks question in your IP examination. But now, without using any concept, we are going to discuss how to decide the system is consistent or inconsistent, how to decide the number of solutions for non homogeneous system as well as homogeneous system, and we are going to discuss few problems are related to this that concept also okay see the non homogeneous system of linear equations a1x plus b1y plus c1z is equal to d1 a2x plus b2y plus c2z is equal to d2 a3x plus b3y plus c3z is equal to d3 equation 1 equation 2 equation 3 we know very well that in subjective examination in order to decide the system is a consistent or inconsistent or the number of solutions, we have to find a rank of coefficient matrix that is capital A. Then after rank of augmented matrix that is capital A, D. After that, if rank of A is equals to rank of A, D, then system is inconsistent. Rank of A not equals to rank of A, D, system is inconsistent. If system is consistent, there are two types of solutions. System may contains unique solution, may contains infinitely many solutions. Rank of A is equals to rank of AD is equals to 3. System is consistent as well as unique solution. Rank of A is equals to rank of AD is equals to not 3. Not 3 means either 2 or 1 system is a consistent but it has infinitely many solutions rank of a not equals to rank of ad system is inconsistent no solution but we are not going to use any of that concept just we are going to discuss nature of the system number of solutions with our super shortcut okay to do that, first try to eliminate any of the variable from any two equations. Suppose this is first equation, this is second equation. Using 1 and 2, using 1 and 2, eliminate using 1 and 2. Eliminate, eliminate any of the variable, for example, x, for example, x, r, y, r, z, we get new equation thus formed, alpha 1 y plus beta 1 z is equals to gamma 1, let it be equation number 4, using, using, 1 and 3 are 1 and 2 eliminate eliminate same x same x we get the new equation thus formed alpha 2y plus 
beta to z is equals to gamma to let it be equation number 5. My dear students, it is not mandatory that always eliminating x only. Whichever you like, whichever the variable cancelled easily, you do eliminate that. Yes. After eliminating one of the variable, we are getting two equations. In these two equations, in these two equations, if alpha 1 by alpha 2 not equals to beta 1 by beta 2, then system is, then the system is consistent, consistent, comma, it has unique solution. It has unique solution. Do you observe that? If alpha 1 by alpha 2 not equals to beta 1 by beta 2, system is consistent and it has unique solution. Means number of solutions is only one. Okay. Number of solutions is only one. Next, suppose if alpha 1 by alpha 2 is equals to beta 1 by beta 2, not equals to gamma 1 by gamma 2, then the system, the system is inconsistent, the system is inconsistent, comma, it has no solution. It has no solution means number of solutions. Number of solutions? Zero. Okay. Next case, if alpha 1 by alpha 2 is equals to beta 1 by beta 2 is equals to gamma 1 by gamma 2. If alpha 1 by alpha 2 is equals to beta 1 by beta 2 is equals to gamma 1 by gamma 2 then the system is the system is consistent the system is consistent and has infinitely infinitely many solutions infinitely many solutions okay so number of solutions infinite number of solutions infinite so this is the way to decide system is consistent or inconsistent and number of solutions so this is about non homogeneous system and we are having one more system Linear equation system only, that is a homogeneous system. Let us discuss about that also. See, homogeneous linear system A1x plus B1y plus C1z is equals to 0. A2x plus B2y plus C2z is equals to 0 a3x plus b3y plus c3z is equals to 0. Very clear that, very clear that homogeneous system is always consistent. Why? Because do observe the equations in worst condition x is equals to 0, y is equals to 0, z is equals to 0 always a solution it satisfies always system of three linear equations okay but in order to decide whenever system is consistent we are observing that there are two types of solutions number one system has unique solution number two system has infinitely many solutions let us decide when it has unique solution when it has infinitely many solutions. Assume that delta is equals to determinant 
ए वन बी वन सी वन ए टू बी टू सी टू ए थ्री बी थ्री सी थ्री दिस इज द डिटर्मिनेंट ओके सी दिस इज द डिटर्मिनेंट ऑफ को एफिशियंट मैट्रिक्स वी नो वेरी वेल दैट सिस्टम ऑलवेज हैज ए सोल्यूशन एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो वाई इज इक्वल टू जीरो जेड इज इक्वल टू जीरो दिस इज कॉल्ड जीरो सोल्यूशन आर ट्रीवियल सोल्यूशन ओके डू ऑब्जर्व दैट इफ डेल्टा नॉट इक्वल्स टू जीरो देन द सिस्टम इज देन द सिस्टम इज कंसिस्टेंट consistent comma has unique solution has unique solution that is x is equals to y is equals to z is equals to 0 only so it is called zero solution it is called zero solution it is also called trivial solution trivial solution okay zero solution or trivial solution if delta is equals to zero then the system is consistent system is consistent comma has infinitely many solutions infinitely many solutions okay infinitely many solutions means along with zero solution there are so many other solutions they are also called non zero solutions non zero solutions are non trivial solutions non trivial solutions okay whenever delta is equals to 0 system has infinitely many solutions delta not equals to 0 system has unique solution in case of system has unique solution that is zero solution only zero solution is only called trivial solution in case of system has infinitely many solutions along with zero solution some other non zero solutions also we get they are also called non trivial solutions okay let us discuss few models few models based on this concept question number 1 see this is dead easy question nobody will ask you to find a solution of the system why because they have to give in options so you don't want to follow any concept or any method any shortcut no need to follow shortcut also whenever system of equations given and asking us to find the solution definitely they have to give in one of the option correct solution no just it can be found by verification from options do observe that the solution of this system three equations linear non homogeneous equations and options also given x values y values z values let us verify with the first option put x is equals to 1 y is equals to 2 z is equals to 3 7 into 1 7 5 into 2, 10, 17, minus 13 into 3, 39, 17 minus 39, minus 22, plus 4, we won't get 0, this is rolled out case. Next, x is equals to y is equals to 3, z is equals to 1, x is equals to 7 into 2, 14, y is equals to 3, 5 into 3, 15, 14 plus 15, 29, 29 minus 13 into 1, 13, that is 16, plus 4, we won't get 0, rolled out case. Next, put x is equals to 1, y is equals to 3, z is equals to 2, x is equals to 1, 7 into 1, 7, 
y is equal to 3, 5 into 3, 15, plus 7, 22, minus 26, minus 4, plus 4, 0. Yes, it is satisfying the first equation. Similarly, 9 plus 6, 15, plus 22, 37, write 3 minus 3, 0, 2 is equals to 2. Yes, third option is right answer. Third option is right answer, just by verification. Okay, next, let's move on to next question. Question number 2. For the equations, x plus 2y plus 3z is equals to 1. 2x plus y plus 3z is equals to 2. 5x plus 5y plus 9z is equals to 4. Do observe the options. There is one and only one solution. Means unique solution. There exist infinitely many solutions. There is no solution. None of this. Given system is non-homogeneous. Non-homogeneous system can be observed by eliminating any of the variable. Whichever eliminated easily, you do that. Okay. This is first equation. Okay. This is second equation. This is third equation. This is first one. This is second one. This is third one. Okay. To eliminate x from first and second, first and second, first equation multiplied by 2 minus second equation. First equation multiplied by 2 minus second equation, x will be eliminated. 2x minus 2x gets cancelled. First equation multiplied by 2, 4y minus y, 3y. Next, 2 into 3, 6z minus 3z plus 3z. Constants, 2 minus 2, 0, 0. Next, first equation multiplied by 5 minus third equation, x term will be eliminated. So, 5x minus 5x, 0. 5 into 2, 10y minus 5y, 5y. Next, 5 into 3, 15z minus 9z, 6z. 5 into 1, 5 minus 4 is equals to 1. Now, this is looking like alpha 1y plus beta 1z as we discussed earlier. Alpha 1y plus beta 1z is equals to gamma 1. Alpha 2y plus beta 2z is equals to gamma 2. And verify these conditions. Okay. That's why. See. Here. Alpha 1 by alpha 2 is equals to 3 by 5. Beta 1 by beta 2 is equals to 3 by 6. That is 1 by 2. Gamma 1 by gamma 2 is equals to 0 by 1. That is 0. What is the condition satisfied here? Alpha 1 by alpha 2 not equals to beta 1 by beta 2. Do observe that if alpha 1 by alpha 2 not equals to beta 1 by beta 2, what will be happening? System is consistent. It has unique solution. It has unique solution. Means one and only one solution. So first option is right answer. System is consistent. And it has unique solution. Let's move on to next question. See, the equations x minus y plus 2z is equals to 4, 3x plus y plus 4z is equals to 6, x plus y plus z is equals to 1 have no solution, unique solution, infinitely many solutions, 
none of this. Let it be first equation. This is second equation. This is third equation. So easily y can, y can be eliminated. Okay. First equation plus. First equation plus. Second equation. Easily y term gets cancelled by adding. We get 4x plus 6z is equals to 10. Next, in order to eliminate y term from first and third, again, first equation plus third equation, y gets cancelled. We get 2x plus 3z is equals to 4 plus 1, 5. Here, alpha 1 by alpha 2 alpha 1 by alpha 2 4 by 2 that is 2 beta 1 by beta 2 6 by 3 that is 2 gamma 1 by gamma 2 10 by 5 that is 2 since alpha 1 by alpha 2 is equals to beta 1 by beta 2 is equals to gamma 1 by gamma 2 there are infinitely many solutions this is infinitely many solutions condition if you want you can re you can recheck alpha 1 by alpha 2 is equals to beta 1 by beta 2 is equals to gamma 1 by gamma 2 system is consistent it has infinitely many solutions okay let's move on to next question question number 4 if the system of equations has no solution, then lambda is equal to. So far, system of equations, all coefficients are given. Asked us to calculate uh, number of solutions. Here, in the given system of equations, one of the coefficient is unknown as lambda. Then, lambda is equal to. It has no solution. No solution condition let us use. Here also. Here also. This is first equation. Next. This is second equation. And this is third equation. Okay. How to eliminate X term from first and second. First minus second employees xx gets cancelled, y minus 2y will be minus y, z minus lambda z will be 1 minus lambda times z, 6 minus 0 is 6. In order to eliminate x, we can also use the second equation minus third equation condition. x minus x 0, 2y minus 2y, 0y, uh, lambda minus 3 times z, okay, is equals to 0 minus 10, okay. If you are getting here lambda, you can also use equation 1 minus equation 2. Alpha 1 by alpha 2 minus 1 by 0, beta 1 by beta 2, 1 minus lambda by lambda minus 3, gamma 1 by gamma 2, 6 by minus 10 that is minus 3 by 5. Given that already system has no solution. System has no solution means alpha 1 by alpha 2 is equals to beta 1 by beta 2 not equals to gamma 1 by gamma 2. This employs minus 1 by 0 is equals to 1 minus lambda by lambda minus 3 not equals to minus 3 by 5. By cross multiplication minus lambda plus 3 is equals to 0, lambda is equals to 3, lambda is equals to 3 can be seen in second option. Just we have used no solution condition, okay, no solution condition we have used, okay, this is the condition, simple question without using any concept, just uh, our uh, shortcut method, okay. Next, question number five. 
जो ऑब्जर्व दैट क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव द सिस्टम ऑफ इक्वेशन एक्स प्लस वाई प्लस जेड इज इक्वल्स टू सिक्स एक्स प्लस टू वाई प्लस थ्री जेड इज इक्वल्स टू टेन एक्स प्लस टू वाई प्लस लैमडा जेड इज इक्वल्स टू म्यू इज इनकन्सिस्टेंट इफ ओके सिस्टम इज इनकन्सिस्टेंट सिस्टम इज इनकन्सिस्टेंट मीन्स नो सोल्यूशन जस्ट नाउ वी हैव डिस्कस द सेम मॉडल नाउ इक्वेशन वन माइनस इक्वेशन टू इक्वेशन वन माइनस इक्वेशन टू इंप्लॉज एक्स गेट कैंसल माइनस वै प्लस टू जेड इज ईक्वल टू मैनस फोर नैक्स्ट इक्वेशन टू मैनस इक्वेशन थ्री एक्स गेट कैंसल टू वै टू वै कैंसल आर् दिस टाइम यूज already we did same method no equation 1 minus equation 3 of course equation 2 minus equation 3 also we get same answer just now we have seen uh, x gets cancelled y minus 2y minus y z minus lambda z 1 minus lambda times z is equals to 6 minus mu here alpha 1 by alpha 2 is equals to beta 1 by beta 2 Not equals to gamma one by gamma two. Inconsistent condition. System is inconsistent condition. If you want, you can check here. System is inconsistent. Alpha one by alpha two is equals to beta one by beta two. Not equals to gamma one by gamma two. Okay. Let's move on to our question. do observe that using this alpha 1 by alpha 2 will be minus 1 by minus 1 is equals to 2 by 1 minus lambda is equals to minus 4 by 6 minus mu in order to get lambda value equating 1 and 2 1 minus lambda is equals to 2 lambda is equals to minus 1 Lambda is equals to minus one. See equation one minus equation two, x minus x gets cancelled, y minus two y, minus y, z minus three z. Here we have to get minus two z. Okay, so that's why this is minus, this is minus. Now lambda is equals to three. now equating first and last we get minus 4 is equals to 6 minus mu mu is equals to 10 mu is equals to 10 lambda is equals to 3 lambda is equals to 3 mu is equals to 10 can be seen in first option okay let's move on to question number 6 The system of linear equations x plus y plus z is equals to two, two x plus y minus z is equals to three, three x plus two y plus k z is equals to four has a unique solution. Here, unique solution. Then the value of lambda. So, whichever the question, same concept. How to eliminate the x from first and second? Better to eliminate y. Equation one minus equation two. Here small difficulty with this board. That's why I'm using equation numbers as Roman one, Roman two, Roman three. Don't confuse. Equation one minus equation two. X minus two x minus e x. Y y gets cancelled. Plus two z is equals to two minus three minus one. Okay. Next. In order to eliminate y, better equation two multiplied by two minus equation three. Equation two multiplied by two, we get four x minus three x x two y minus two y gets cancelled. Uh, minus two z minus k z minus of 2 plus k times z 
is equals to 6 minus 4 that is 2. So system has a unique solution condition alpha 1 by alpha 2 not equals to beta 1 by beta 2. This employs minus 1 by 1 not equals to 2 by minus of 2 plus k. This minus minus gets cancelled. 2 plus k not equals to 2. k not equals to 0. k not equals to 0 can be seen in option 1. Okay. That is right answer. Next, let us move on to question number 7. If the system of equations have non-zero solutions, then lambda is equal to. Given system is homogeneous. Homogeneous system has non-zero solutions only when delta is equal to determinant 3 minus 2, 1, lambda minus 14, 15, 1, 2, minus 3 is equal to 0. While expanding the determinant 3 into 42 minus 30 plus 2 into plus 2 into minus 3 lambda minus 15 plus 1 into plus 1 into 2 lambda plus 14 is equals to 0. 42 minus 30 12 into 3 36 minus 6 lambda minus 30 plus 2 lambda plus 14 is equals to 0. Okay. This is 36 minus 30 6 plus 14 20 20 is equals to minus 6 lambda plus 2 lambda bringing this side 4 lambda lambda is equals to 5 lambda is equals to 5 can be seen in option 3. Let us move on to next question. If the system of equations, three equations given, has non-trivial solution, already we have discussed that non-zero solution, non-trivial solutions, both are same. Okay. See, non-trivial solutions condition determinant is equals to 0. But given equations not in the standard form. First equation can be written as 1 minus lambda times x plus 2y plus 3z is equals to 0. Second equation 3x plus 1 minus lambda times y plus 2z is equals to 0. Third equation 2x plus 3y plus 1 minus lambda times z is equals to 0. Okay. Delta is nothing but determinant of coefficients 1 minus lambda 2, 3, 3, 1 minus lambda 2, 2, 3, 1 minus lambda is equals to 0. Expanding the determinant, see this 1 minus lambda into 1 minus lambda into lambda square plus 1 minus 6. However, minus 5 minus 2 lambda minus 5 minus 2 into 3 minus 4 minus 1 minus 3 lambda minus 1 plus 3 into 9 minus 2 7 plus 2 lambda is equals to 0. This is lambda square minus 2 lambda minus 5 minus lambda cube plus 2 lambda square plus 5 lambda plus 6 lambda plus 6 lambda plus 2 plus 21 plus 6 lambda is equals to 0. So here by taking lambda cube minus also common lambda cube lambda square terms lambda square plus 2 lambda square 3 lambda square however minus common 
minus 3 lambda square lambda terms minus 2 lambda plus 5 lambda 7 lambda plus 6 lambda sorry minus 2 lambda plus 5 lambda 3 lambda plus 6 lambda 9 plus 6 15 lambda but however minus common minus 15 lambda uh, constants 2 plus 21 23 minus 5 18 minus common so by verification by verification we get lambda is equals to 6 if you want you can check okay so this is the value of lambda next question number 9 if the system of linear equations has non zero solutions then the a comma b comma c or in gp or in hp or in ap satisfy this condition here also system has a non zero solutions only when determinant of coefficient matrix is zero that is 1 comma 2a first row 1 2a a next second row 1 3b b 1 4c c is equals to 0 simple by expanding 1 into 3bc minus 4bc minus 2a into c minus b plus a into 4c minus 3b is equals to 0 3bc minus 4bc minus bc minus 2ac plus 2ab plus 4ac minus 3ab is equals to 0. This is 2ab minus 3ab minus ab minus 2ac plus 4ac plus 2ac minus bc is equals to 0. So 2ac is equals to ab plus bc. Both sides dividing by ABC, we get a 2 by B is equals to 1 by C plus 1 by A. Therefore, A comma B comma C are in HP. This is harmonic progression condition. Second option, right answer. Next, let's move on to next question. The number of non-trivial solutions of the system. Okay. Non-trivial solutions always infinite if the system has. Otherwise, it can have zero solution. Zero solution means that is called trivial solution. In that case, it doesn't have any non-trivial solution. Okay. First, we can decide this by finding delta 1 minus 1, 1, 1, 2 minus 1. 2, 1, 3. Finding delta 1 into 6 plus 1 plus 1 into 3 plus 2 plus 1 into 1 minus 4. This is 7 plus 5 minus 3. 12 minus 3, 9. 9 not equals to 0. Delta not equals to 0 means it has it has trivial solution. Whenever it has a trivial solution, it doesn't have non-trivial solution. So number of non-trivial solutions 0. This is answer. So these are the models. These are the models in the system of linear equations, homogeneous and non-homogeneous. Dear students, Please like, share and subscribe my YouTube channel and encourage me to do more and more videos for you. Every day, I will show you a technique for you. So, follow uh, these techniques. Follow one day. Almost all daily, you are going to get one mark. Thank you. Thank you one and all.